assalamu alaikum today i am going to discuss about the process of exocytosis of synaptic vesicle here uh, here i am showing uh, the terminal end of a neuron it's the terminal end uh, of a neuron okay and uh, it's the synaptic vesicle inside it there are a lot number of uh, acetylcholine acetylcholine and we know that acetylcholine it's a neurotransmitter mainly it is responsible for the transmission of nerve impulses uh, across the neuromuscular junction so when an action potential uh, is generated it will pass uh, across the membrane of uh, of the axon and uh, uh, the wave of depolarization come to the nerve ending after coming to the nerve ending it will cause the opening of voltage gated sodium channel so after the opening of voltage gated sodium channel a huge rush of uh, sodium will occur from outside from uh, outside to inside okay so due to the opening of uh, voltage gated sodium channel a huge rush of sodium will occur from outside to inside and uh, if the initial resting membrane uh, potential was minus 70 millivolt due to the influx of uh, sodium uh, it will reach at the point of plus uh, 10 millivolt okay so as soon as the nerve is depolarized the nerve ending activate its very special depolarization sensitive calcium channel so in the terminal end of a neuron uh, there are uh, depolarization sensitive calcium channel uh, after the depolarization uh, is achieved so the depolarization sensitive calcium channel uh, will open as we know that the calcium concentration uh, is more outside so there will be calcium influx so it is interesting that uh, there are calcium sensitive protein which are present uh, on the surface of vesicle so here it is the vesicle and the calcium sensitive pr uh, protein is present uh, on the surface of vesicle or the membrane of vesicle it is called synaptobrevin and also another calcium sensitive protein which is called syntaxin which is present inside the membrane of terminal end of a neuron so normally the syntaxin is always closed so after the influx of calcium the calcium uh, will bind with the syntaxin and the syntaxin uh, the two end of syntaxin will open and the two after the opening of the two end of syntaxin the synaptobrevin will uh, fuse with the syntaxin okay so the fusion uh, between the synaptobrevin protein uh, and the uh, syntaxin uh, will occur after uh, after the fusion uh, the vesicular membrane uh, will fuse with the nerve membrane and the release of uh, acetylcholine uh, will occur uh, by the process of exocytosis. So, it's the process of exocytosis and it's very simple.